prime time Saturday night. Um, great challenge in front of us, really good football team. Um, you know, the big, strong, athletic on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Skill players uh, on both sides are, are really good, uh, great speed, and that will be a huge test for us. So I'll open it up. Post game, you mentioned how today and yesterday was going to be crucial and how the team responded. How do you assess their response? Yeah, really good. Um, good energy uh, out on the grass with them today, but really good in the in the meeting room too. Uh, anticipated that from uh, from these guys. Uh, we got strong leadership. Uh, guys care about their performance, but they care how they get there too. Uh, I said it after the game too. I didn't feel like we didn't prepare the right way. Um, at the end of the day, we were on the right side of the competitive edge to to go play the way that we're capable of. That being said, there's a lot of things that went that we did really well too during the course of the game uh, i thought the effort strain energy uh technique on special teams was really good uh defensively um, played really sound you know a majority of the football game um you know uh gap assignments uh, allowed a couple of big runs early in the football game but other than that really good offensively you know we ran it for dang near eight yards of carry and and uh, had some efficiency in the past game too um penalties in the red zone in particular, you know, drop balls, um, you know, hitting a couple more passes um, lead to a, a different score, you know, and certainly one that we all want. But uh, those are all things that we we control. And you know, that was a big point of emphasis uh, today with our guys, you know, control the controllable, which is what sits in that room and how we prepare. You're going to have some games like that. Was that a good time for that? Can be. Absolutely. Um, you know, I mean, the, uh, you know, as much as anything, uh, the competitive edge that you have to be on, on the right side of it um, is extremely important. And the difference between success and failure in this game is is really small. So it wasn't all 11 all at one time. Um, we can be better, need to be better. These guys care. Um, they got a great care factor about them. So we'll have a great week of practice. Tennessee hasn't won in Gainesville since 2003. What can you remember about that last game you played there in uh, 2001 or 2021? Yeah, um, listen, uh, first of all, they're always really athletic. Uh, they're physical at the line of scrimmage. Uh, it's a great environment. You know, at the end of the day in this game, and yesterday has nothing to do with today, the previous game, our previous play has nothing to do with what's going to happen on the next play. Um, you know, it's, it's about, you know, preparing the right way, practicing the right way. That will lead to you playing the right way. Coach, when you went back and watched the tape in the passing game and, and, and Joe early on, was it mechanics? Were receivers done on the right page? What did you see that you want to fix this week? At the end of the day, we got we got to go make some plays. That's that's throwing it a little bit better. That's catching it uh, a little bit better. There's, you know, big chunks of yardage in open grass uh, for us to to go make. Um, you know, Joe would tell you he's got to hit a couple of those. We got to make a play out on the perimeter. Um, you know, some subtle things fundamentally that can help you be more accurate with the ball, but. We've seen them operate in that. We just didn't execute it very well early in the football game. With Keenan out, just what did you like from the linebacker unit, in particular, uh, Elijah Herring? Yeah, um, destructive, um, you know, communicated at a high level. Um, you know, he's a young guy that his best football is going to continue to come down the pipe, man. Um, great confidence in him. Um, you know, but from the rest of the guys that played too, uh, saw a lot of things that we liked. There's a couple of things that we busted on too. Um, you know, gave a pass down the middle in the, in the fourth quarter, um, but uh, we can correct those things. And at the end of the day, that group's going to have to continue to grow up quickly. Uh, we're going to need all those guys as we go down the stretch. Through two games, you guys have not been have not had great efficiency on third down. What, when you've looked at that, is there any rhyme or reason there? Not not just one thing. Uh, we got to be better at. You know, calling it, blocking it, executing in the pass game. Like, we're capable of it. We just got to be better. That will be big in, in this football game, too. You got to convert. You got to stay on the field. You got to give yourself the, the next set of downs. Any update on Cooper? Will he be available for this game? Yeah, uh, he was with us last week, um, you know, warmed up with us. Uh, we made a decision pretty early in the week that he probably would not play in, in that football game and, and uh, anticipate him, you know, having a good week of practice here and getting ready. And the uh, misthrows by Joe or the drops by the receivers, had you seen that any in practice leading up to the game or was it, was it strange to see that? Yeah, we didn't anticipate that happening. No. Josh, I, I guess with Cooper, if you were to play on Saturday, how much concern is there with a SEC offensive lineman 
not really going through a ton of contact throughout fall camp and his first action being against an SEC defensive line? Yeah, if he's playing, we have great confidence that he's going to play at the level that he wants to and we need him to, too. Josh, you mentioned a lot of scrimmage, but looking at Florida, skill guys, quarterback, what have you seen on tape? Yeah, they they got great team speed. Uh, you got athletes that can go make plays in space. Um, you got to bottle, bottle up the run game. Uh, that's a huge part of what they do, and that sets up their play action pass. Uh, a year ago, they hurt us with some of that. Um, we got to be able to uh, to fit the run and then uh, play assignment sound and, and play the ball well when it's in the air. After the game, Jabari mentioned about the team being able to settle in early, talking about you know being home and having those jitters, a big scene. Florida obviously going to be a huge environment. How do you either tune out that noise or just get used to playing in those big games to settle in earlier? Yeah, you're not going to completely tune, tune out the noise, but uh, once you get the play call, man, uh, you're focusing uh, on your job. It's 11 guys inside of the white line. I don't care if it's at home, on the road, in the backyard. Um, you know These guys have been doing it for a long time. Uh, you do have to control your emotions, right? Um, you got to have, uh, um, be able to execute and play from within yourself. Um, that'll be a big part of, of the football game. Jacob Warren had a touchdown week one. McAllen had a touchdown this week. Just how nice is it to see those guys get rewarded? Uh, two guys that do it right every single day. Uh, both have the ability to, to make plays. Been great to see those guys get an opportunity and then go execute uh, here early in the football season. Uh, those guys you know, are a huge part of what we do in the pass game and in the run game. Anticipate those guys continuing to have uh, have big years. I'm sure Florida's going to want to run the ball successfully on Saturday. Just what have you seen from your rush defense to, to start the year, and what do you see from Etienne and, and Johnson on tape? Yeah, we've done a good job of, of destructing blocks at the line of scrimmage. Uh, second and third levels have, have fit it right. Um, and... Um, you know, at the end of the day, we've changed the line of scrimmage here the first couple of weeks. Um, and this will be the best offensive line that we've seen. Um, you know, they're big, strong, they're athletic, and um, and look like a typical uh, Florida offensive line. Joe talked a lot in the summertime and in the preseason about learning and, and working on trying to put a bad play behind him and not let it compound. How has he done with that, and, and how do you kind of approach – the good and the bad in terms of the film study so that it's not dwelling on anything bad that, that he can push forward the way he needs to? Well, at the end of the day, you, you have to point out what needs to be corrected. Um, you you got to be truthful in, in what you're seeing as a coach, and, and players understand that too. They see it. They recognize it. He understands the game. The great thing about Joe is he's really been making really sound decisions. That, that's in our run pass option. It's in our drop back. Um, we as skilled players, you know what I mean, and that can be – you know, wideouts, tight ends, running backs, and him. Just got to be a little bit better at times. So um, plan on us executing better this week. All right, awesome. You guys have a great day.